sound and noise pollution sound a type of energy like light sound is also a form of energy sound is made by vibrations when any object vibrates it causes movement in the air particles these particles bump into the particles close to them which makes them vibrate to cause them to bump into more air particles this movement called sound waves keeps going until they run out of energy if our ear is within range of the vibrations we hear the sound our ears can detect sound wave through the ear drum our brain can determine quickly all kinds of different sounds let us do an activity to prove that sound is produced by vibrations take a plastic scale and place it on a table so that some part of it projects out from the edge of the table place a heavy book on the other end of the ruler press the projecting end down with your finger and release it what do you observe you find that the ruler vibrates and produces sound sound made by objects as human beings and animals sound are also produced by different objects sound made by clock we often hear the sound tick tock made by a clock clocks have gears wheels with teeth that mesh together and a pendulum which allows the hands to move forward by one gear every time it swings back and forth making vibrations hence the tick sound is produced when the pendulum swings one way and the tock is when it swings back sound made by whistle a whistle produces sound when air is forced through an opening as the air reaches the other closed end all the air particles compile on top of each other and cause a high pressure region the air escapes out the little hole in the end making a sound sound made by tea kettle and pressure cooker a tea kettle and pressure cooker whistle when the water in them boils its vapor tries to escape forcing some air out of the small openings present in the whistle which produces sound sound made by a piano the notes and sounds made by a piano are the result of vibrating strings the strings vibrate when they are hit by a hammer within the piano when the hammer hits a string it vibrates and makes a sound that is tuned to a specific musical note sound made by doorbell when someone comes at your door you hear the sound of the doorbell do you know how is that sound produced an electric bell contains an electromagnet consisting of coils of insulated wire wound round iron rods when an electric current flows through the coils the rods become magnetic and attract a piece of iron attached to a clapper the clapper hits the bell and makes it ring sound made by a flute a flute has pipe like structure having holes at a certain distance the air column inside the pipe is vibrated when it is blown from one end in this way the vibrations are produced and a sound is heard sound made by fallen leaves when we walk on the fallen leaves in a garden we hear a rustling sound because the brittleness of the dry leaves and chips makes them vibrate when they are broken sound made by living beings we hear different kinds of sounds like the sound of animals birds and sound of different human beings all the sounds are different sound produced by humans when you speak put a finger on your throat you will feel vibrations these vibrations are produced when air is blown over the vocal cords vocal cords are two small pieces of tissue that stretch across the larynx voice box in the throat with a small opening between them sound produced by animals animals also produce sounds 
almost all mammals, birds and frogs have vocal cords or similar structures which allow them to produce sounds in a similar way to humans. However, many other animals produced distinctly different sounds. For example, bees buzz as they fly because of the rapid movement of their wings. Their wings make the air vibrate, producing a buzzing sound. A cricket produces a singing type sound as it scrapes parts of its front wings together. Some types of shellfish produce clicks by tapping their claws together. Pleasant and unpleasant sound Noise We hear different types of sound around us. Is the sound always pleasing? Does the sound sometimes cause discomfort to you? Some sounds are pleasant to the ear, while some are not. Pleasant sounds are those which make us feel happy and comfortable. Music sound is one which is pleasing to ear. Sound produced by a harmonium is a musical sound. The string of a sitar also gives out the musical sound. Unpleasant sounds are those which are not pleasing to the ear. Sound of construction work, sound produced by horns of loudspeakers, vehicles, etc. are unpleasant. Unpleasant sound is also referred to as noise. Noise pollution. Loud noise or unpleasant sound leads to noise pollution. Noise pollution refers to the presence of such levels of noise or sound in the environment that are disturbing, irritating and annoying to living beings. It causes discomfort and harm to living beings' mental and physical health. Causes 1. Different kinds of machines, vehicles, loudspeakers, crackers, etc. produce high intensity of sound. 2. High volume of radio and television. 3. Engines and horns of automobiles in the cities. Effects 1. It can cause loss of hearing or deafness. 2. Continuous loud noise causes mental stress, hypertension and nervous problems. 3. It reduces the secretion of gastric juices and affects the digestive system. Prevention 1. Use of crackers, loudspeakers, pressure horns, etc. should be banned in public places. 2. Noise-producing factories should be installed at far-off places from the populated areas. 3. Proper maintenance of machinery checks noise pollution. 4. Public awareness campaign should be initiated regarding the ill effects of noise pollution. Know this, fire alarm and ambulance siren are some warning sounds. Know this, humans have the ability to hear the sound limits ranging from 0 decibel to 120 decibel. Sounds in excess of 120 decibel may cause hearing impairment.